Right, so... This will be a different kind of video because it will have splice footage from modern to the past. Because... Well, I mean, I just haven't really been doing anything because COVID depression, which... I wasn't even that active before, so it's not really that fucking surprising, noting my character. But, quite a lot of things have changed. Mostly, a fucking war broke out. Thank you, Russia. Very pog. Fucking, what universe do we live in? I like, everything's just been so fucking scuffed today. Like, I mean, I mean, I had everything pre-prepared, but then someone decided to lick an entire crate of fucking eggs to the point that I had to actually go shopping for more. This is the thing, I just torn off fucking location shits. So yeah, this video will just be a splice between a recording session where I was just getting well, my first attempt trying to get out of that COVID depression to the point where I didn't even bother grooming myself so I have the biggest fucking neck beard possible. But things like this, surprisingly, these are still £3, even though it doesn't say it on the packet anymore. I think they're probably planning on raising the price because now the pound is like, I think 25% less powerful. It's like, after Brexit, it was like $140, and then after all of the COVID bullshit to now, it's like one, $1.10, which is like, how the fuck am I meant to buy all my yif now? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I'll just cut the original intro then, enjoy. Hello! And welcome to a brand new mini-series. Why is it a mini-series? I mean, have you seen my fucking upload schedule? <laughs> so yeah, obviously, been a bit depressed. You know, fucking COVID. What can you fucking expect? And what do you do when you're depressed? You eat all your problems away. And my god, do I have a lot of problems to eat through. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, there's another reason why I'm making this food video as well. Because, like, you know, cooking show for fucking Sonic Channel, that's, that's unheard of. But, you know what's not heard, unheard of? The argument that eating fast food is actually cheaper than just shopping and shopping and cooking it yourself. And while that may be true in American suburbia with houses designed to fucking cram people into either high rises or suburban houses where there is like fucking miles between any type of business because everything's in a rigid district system. So, you know, you've got your residential districts, your industrial ones, and you have like one fucking gas station because people need to be able to fuel their cars because there's no way for local trains or anything like that. But inside of a much more compacted European country, aka England, as much as the fucking coffee drinkers wish they were Yanks. You know, everything's within walking distance to it. So, like, the argument that, like, I don't know, fucking four pound odd tranny box is cheaper than 75 nuggets for three fucking pounds. Like... It is actually fucking retarded, like, and it doesn't just work for nuggets, you can get like a fucking Rustler's burger for like the same fucking price as a hamburger or a quarter pounder, when it is actually slightly bigger than a fucking quarter pounder, and it's some shitty microwave burger where if you buy the ingredients then just swap it out with bread because the argument is about fucking money, yeah. And that's the point. You see how this is simply, well, this is Iceland. Yeah, there's 
there's multiple shops you can shop at in order to get the cheapest product to save yourself money. That's the entire argument here. But of course, the thing that really keeps fast food in business is either people being lazy shits or people not knowing how to cook. Of course, there are food tech classes inside of schools, but they require money. And if you're poor, you know, the rich get richer because they have more options to both buy and to fucking shop wherever you want. You want a burger? You gonna go at Burger King? Really? No. <laughs> and then, of course, another reason is just I fucking... Working... Working fast food for multiple years makes you fucking despise people. So, I, instead of just bitching like the usual British person would, I'm actually gonna be an education channel for once. Because clearly this Sonic thing hasn't been working out for me. Maybe because I've not been uploading. <laughs> like, actually, on that topic, thanks for the views on the shower review, I did actually rush it with the fast talk. I really don't need that gimmick because, well, I'm fast talking right now. Anyway, let's move this one. And let's get to it. So, another reason why I wanted to make this is the British Butty, or more specifically, the English one. But, you know, British Butty, nice alliteration, just like curse cooking. You'll see the curse part as we get into it, though, cooking British meals might just be cursed enough as is, haha. <laughs> anyway, hair on that. <laughs> so, of course, another thing I hear a lot is that British food is dog shit. Now, if you're European, fair enough. But if you're a Yank, oh, oh my fucking lord, you literally just rip off fucking European dishes from like, you know, and just make them shitter. Like, you know, you got your French fries, you know, French hamburgers. Why do you call it hamburger when it's made of beef? Oh yeah, because it's fucking German. And of course, everything getting deep fried like you're fucking Scottish or anything, or something. Holy shit. <laughs> so, no, I'm gonna show you something that is actually tastier than your fucking French fry. Oh yeah, and of course, New York pizza. Oh yeah, that's such a great thing, but you know what's better than a New York pizza? A fucking Italian pizza. Authentic Italian. And then of course, it's like spaghetti and meatballs. Italy is just fucking fantastic for food. There's baguettes, but then Americans, it's like, let's put cream cheese inside the fucking sushi. Yeah, cream cheese sushi. Why is that a thing? Also, another reason why is just fucking, you know, that squeezy cheese, the most yankish shit ever. Yeah, that's on the spread overseas. Why the fuck, of all things, to put in a fucking tube. No. Like, you people put fucking cucumbers in bags. You know what a fucking jar is for? It's for storing pickled things. Like, pickled eggs. These are actually really good. Highly recommend. Anyway. <laughs> right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that intro about Americanization of fucking food culture. Like, I thought it was entertaining, but I also thought it was appropriate to be looking like that on camera, so I don't know what to believe. <laughs> anyway, enough fucking roasting. Let's actually cook some shit. So, hash browns. Fucking... Does American McDonald's have hash browns? I don't know. There. I'm only going to do two, two per sandwich, I'm just going to pop them in at 150 heat for 45 minutes. 
That's generally enough time to do potatoes. Alright, so while they are cooking, let's go do this. Also, I don't mind this. It's just because I'm waiting for my dinner. I'm gonna be making this an extended episode because I've made fuck all else other content, so like you guys actually deserve me not fucking stuttering over the easiest words imaginable. Anyway, so yeah, fucking rings of sausages. Sausages. So what you want to do is prepare for British stabbing jokes. Because, my god, I will fucking kill that joke. I will stab it so hard that it will look like it was in a back alley. It will look like teenagers had gotten a hand on these fucking jokes. Anyway, yeah, you, you just wait until there's like half an hour to go cook these, so they're to my liking. Though, I do generally like things soft because I'm a little autistic fuck, so you can generally cook them at a higher temperature. Like, I'm doing 150, but like, my little sister, for example, cooks things at 200, so things are crispier on the outside. Because she is also an autistic little fuck, but she prefers a different texture because autistic brains are different because all it means is you have fucked wiring. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going on about. So, do you ever find out that the family has also nicked all of the fucking hot chocolate? Like, I had my fucking marshmallows out ready! I had my whipped cream out ready! I had my big fucking mug out ready! God damn it! How else are we gonna occupy this time? Wait a minute, this is a British cuisine video. How about, let's actually do something British. So, let's put the kettle on, shall we? Yeah, I'm literally... <laughs> Oh, that's about, that's enough time. Alright, that's like six months worth. That's still a bit much. Perfect, that's probably as much as was originally in there. Also, a good thing I didn't have that running because I wanted to do time comparison. No, wait, that is... Whatever. Anyway, let's put this on, and then for the sake of the Americans, we have, if I can angle it correctly, a microwave. Let's set it to three minutes. Three minutes is how it would take to cook, well, to go. So, sugar. Most people don't put sugar in their teeth because they're fucking normal. But because this is first cooking, and I am me, and I have such a sweet tooth, I have a buck tooth there, or a gap rather. Let's just put in two sugars. Now usually people would use tape, would use teaspoons, but um, I'm not most people. <laughs> that again, I had like fucking Harry Roll marshmallows and full fat cream there. Now of course another thing you'll eat is milk. Thankfully I drink a lot of milk. Now of course you don't have to use green milk. You can use red milk or green milk but if you don't use blue milk but if you use red milk you're fucking insane. It tastes like shit. But if you use blue milk then you are a chad. <laughs> no, but really though, it's a good source of fat for people as skinny as I am. And oh look at that! That is boiling! Let's see how long that shit has left. Uh, can you see that? That's at 125 now. And yeah, that's already boiled. Okay, so 
What do we do? We actually remember to put the fucking tea bag in. So let's put the fucking tea bag in, shall we? So yeah, tea bag and this is this zoom? Yeah, that's the zoom. Let's fucking zoom in, shall we? Also, let's stop wasting power on that microwave. Let's actually encourage the British government to stop buying Russian fucking oil like Europe is. Anyway, so yeah, we just add it directly. Fucking ah. Uh, I should actually be detached, doesn't it? Never mind me just remembering how my fucking camera works. So yeah, we pour it directly on top. And then we leave space for the milk. Because the tea and also if you're adding sugar, which honestly, if you're having more than fucking two teaspoons you probably shouldn't you probably shouldn't have tea but I just can't resist so obviously we do that often look at that transformation it's just fucking sexy and obviously we lift that there's no sugar on it and then of course we do that it's doing its little leakage thing. Let's just dump that in the sink for now. Then that, just like that, that is how we make a proper cup of tea. And of course, we can actually look at that time. I set it to three. Still had a minute left. So not only does it taste better than fucking microwave shit with not properly dissolved sugar because you put the milk in first and just shitty tasting water because you put it in a fucking microwave <laughs> it's also fucking faster imagine that it's almost like getting your tranny box of chicken nuggets might be faster cooking them at home rather than just sit in a, que in a queue for half an hour these only cost like 25p at fucking little for the entire big fucking packet. That's like... Hmm. That is peak fucking British. <laughs> anyway, enough fucking memeing about. So, bread. You butter it like a fucking normal person. Why am I telling you this? Well, because... A lot of people tend to use margarine, which I should have had on hand. Margarine. Now, what's so wrong with margarine? Well, it's not really that bad. It's more so just the type of fat it is. It's, it's the type of fat that is mostly artificial artificially made. I don't think trans fats are an actual issue nowadays. These are at least are highly regulated, as with everything food rights in the UK. Or literally everything, because fucking everything needs a fucking license. It, but also just fat is, well, it's literally just milk. It's the actual good, healthy bit of fat. And also, I just realised, this is the camera view. Now, of course, of course, you can just spread it. Well, no. The big disadvantage is it's just harder to spread because it's more solid. But, you know the saying, a hot knife through butter? No, it cuts like a hot knife through butter. So, obviously, we have to make this fucking dangerous because why the fuck not? Yeah, you can see that steam. Let's just make sure it's nice and hot. Yeah, that's bubbling up, that's bubbling up. Now, of course, this is also just because I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. Mmm, look at that shit. 
and then that just immediately cools it down, doesn't it? Well, so much fun not making myself look like an idiot. Okay, let's move that, do that, and then I just do the bit spreading. Obviously, let's get that big lump off of it. That's just be fucking dangerous. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Oh, I think that's good for a reason. Let's just start getting some of that shit off. I'll explain more over here. Yeah, I'll make a big mess of this. I wanted this to be like a funny, funny bar thing, but I guess it's not going to fucking dig in. Oh, well, at least I'm not going to fucking dig in. Oh, well, at least I'm not going to fucking dig in. Oh, well, at least I'm not going to fucking dig in. Oh, yeah. I actually just like this stuff to be cool, so it's quite actually so cool, but I'm going to do it so far, I'll just wait for it. So, yeah, I think that's good, I'm going to do that. Yeah, actually, I'll, I want to try something. Because I'm literally just spreading butter and waffling on. And I've clearly put on too much fucking butter. So let's just do that. Let that heat up and then just like melt the butter on there and then soak the last one in it. That'll either be like a great idea or a fucking dreadful idea. But hey, curse cooking and the entire fun is to experiment. So. Here is our experimentation. We're gonna make fucking French toast at this rate. Yeah. Yeah, that actually melted quite well. There we go. Yeah, that didn't toast the other side actually, so... I think we are still gonna have to spread it, but at least a nice way to lube up this thing ready for like the eggs and bacon. Though to be fair, I think I can just dab it in that one. There we go. Oh yeah, it's actually working to do that one. I should have just done this from the fucking beginning. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's actually start preparing the next part. So you see how it says peel there? I'm a rebel. I even cut towards me and nearly cut my fucking finger. That's how you know I'm badass. Anyway, before we actually use that bacon that I opened, let's actually open the fresh ketchup that I had to fucking buy because nothing's in, despite the fact that I fucking went shopping yesterday. Right, so of course you can butter it, but also another... What the fuck is... Well, I guess the lid... No, the lid can't even pop on properly. There. So yeah, let's just do that. Let's just make sure it's all covered, because... The last thing you want to do is to have your thing stick. And of course, sunflower oil. Now again, it is... Fatty as shit, and that just fell in the ketchup. Lovely. Nah, that, let's fucking wash that up when we get the chance. And yeah, we're cooking. We can use our hands because afterwards we do a magical thing called washing our hands. Listen to that fucking sizzle, though. That is some amazing. Uh, let's use the heat to fucking wash that because we're actually using. Supposed to, I don't think it actually matters that much, but I care, and I'm the one doing this, so yeah. But look at how quickly that fucking cooks. Like, why wait for eons for your McDonald's to get done, well, your McBreakfast to get done? When you can literally just have that done in like 30 seconds. It's actually like magic. And then let's do the third one. Then there we go. That is gonna cool down to fuck, but I don't, I don't really fucking care. Yeah. That's just how I roll, motherfucker. Oh yeah, and that's the point. That's the bare tool anyway, because now, 
it's egg time. The entire reason why I went shopping and should have checked if we had fucking hot chocolate. Anyway, so just tap on the edge, grab the shelf, and fucking destroy the egg. <laughs> Now, the first one is never the good one, let's be real. I just, well, in actuality, I probably could have done that. It's just, I was a little bit too high off. I might actually give that to the dogs. Yeah, look, look at that oil, it's got fairly a thin now. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm dumping that on the ground. There you go. Remember, when your parents say that the kids in Africa could have eaten it, that's not true. The food was spoiled at that point. That's why you have a dog. Anyway, let's just let's just see which one gets here first. Alright, yeah, let's just fucking... So, I also put way too much oil in, so I'm gonna pop it on the opposite side. That's how we do it. You do it a lot faster. And thus, you actually allow it to run out a little bit. And of course, you want an intact yolk, because, well, you can just stack it on inside the burger, right? The burger, the sandwich. The fucking English food. Fucking okay. Okay, maybe it was a good thing that I got the other tools. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Sorry that there's not really much commentary, but like what what can I really say? I'm just frying an egg. I guess it cooks fucking quickly. Is that fully cooked? That is fully cooked and the yolk is in case. So that is what we call noise. And I'm gonna do the second egg. Uh can I So yeah, that's... Oh, that... That was not scripted. I've legit just fucked the ground for so long that... Yeah. Let's just do that and... Let's do this because oil splashes because... It is hot. Well, you know, hot the boiling point and it rises, so... Yeah, what happens is just... The oil is lighter than, is heavy, no, lighter than the water, the water is heavier, so it sinks to the bottom and then it evaporates and shuts the fuck out. Right, so now, of course, we can just start stacking our things even more. Now, of course, you could be saying that at this point, this is looking more American than it does British, just due to how much shit is in there, but like... Yeah, where do you think you fuckers got it from? You just steal other people's cuisine and fuck it up somehow. <laughs> anyway, so... We shall just grab a bunch of sausages. And then we will grab our sharp as fuck knife, which you obviously washed before. Let's just 
Oh my god, just slide there, thank you. Yeah, I I hadn't had a chance to put anything away yet, so that that and then we can just fucking also yeah I'm fucking right handed, let's Stop being fussy and just fucking do it. Bridge cut. There you go. It's split in half. Then, oh look, it flattens. It leaves the other half left. I wonder how we're going to do that other half. Hmm. I do wonder. And fuck, they are still hot. No, just... Just do it quicker, Leon. You, you want to maintain the heat because, well, I mean... It's... It's a hot meal. Supposed to be fucking hot as shit. <laughs> there we go. And then, like that, that one's done. And we can pop it on the plate so you can actually fucking see it a little bit. We cut directly in the middle. Right down the middle, just leaving the tiniest bit for it to fold out. There you go. And then just a little more. And then there we go. You know what I'm saying now? That, that kind of looks like it needs more ketchup. So I'm just going to fucking... There you go, don't need to go fucking ham with it, I've already, this is already ham and garnet. But yeah, there we go, a nice, a nice old thick fucking English butty. Oh there, I should probably just take a bite on camera, so I'm just going to change the cap angle quick. Alright, so first. Cup of tea. I know I already done it, but once again, this is a lot colder than before, so I've got to leave it in there longer, but... Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's just cup of tea and a dipping biscuit. Quintessential British. I should probably finish this because it's getting cold. There you go. Just so you know that I actually done it properly and it tastes good. At least good enough for me to fucking have it. So now, this will be a bit of a struggle to hold, but like, look at that fucking thing. This is like a proper American sized meal in a country which limits all of the side. Oh, let's get the fucking eggy side since it's dripping. Mm. Yeah, I just want to take this bite too. Hmm. That is definitely falling apart. <laughs> So of course the reason why you want to have the intact egg is look at that runniness, just like that mixed with the ketchup, the fucking texture of the sausage with the texture of the hash brown below, I mean bacon is just fucking bacon, and then yeah, yolks, well the white is alright, but then of course there's like buttered I don't really like butter normally, but when it's melted, it is fucking peng. <laughs> now, of course, the only other thing left to do is clear up this fucking kitchen, because I have been doing a little bit throughout, but not enough, man. Not enough. <laughs> 